Yet another senior ANC politician faces corruption charges, this time the third most important figure of the Republic. Last week, the Speaker of the National Assembly resigned after being ordered by the courts to hand herself over to the police. She stands accused of receiving bribes in exchange for state contracts when she was Minister of Defence. So, what exactly are we talking about? What is Nocivi Wimapi Sangakula risking? And importantly, what impact can this have on the upcoming general election? I'm Julien Trevian, you're watching Johannesburg Journal. My fellow South Africans, take note of what is happening in South Africa. The date for the demise of the white minority regime has been determined. This is the Rugby World Cup for South Africa. With what we have gone through, we can't allow this, Madam Speaker. Well, uh, let me tell you something. The ANC is falling even further into the ground. You are not showing the comrades a way to eat. Shut up! Shut up! I want to share a pin drop! The threat had been looming for weeks. On the 4th of April, Nosivi Wimapi Sangakula was charged with 12 counts of corruption and one of money laundering. The day before, the Speaker of the National Assembly had put an end to opposition parties' calls for her to step down. On special leave since the 21st of March, she announced her resignation to protect the image of Parliament. In a written statement, she said, Given the seriousness of the much-publicised allegations against me, I cannot continue in this role. As a country's chief lawmaker, I hold central responsibility to protect and preserve the integrity of Parliament. At the beginning of March, the Sunday Times had reported that the Speaker was being investigated for allegedly soliciting some 4.5 million rands in bribes from a defence contractor and receiving more than 2.3 million in cash. The money would have been delivered in gift bags from 2016 to 2019, back when she was Minister of Defence. That's according to Numbasa and Sondwa and Lovu's sworn testimony, the contractor herself. A former South African Airways flight attendant, she's married to a SANDF general and involved in a 100 million rand fraud case. Under Section 204 of the Criminal Procedure Act, she was granted immunity from prosecution in exchange for information. This led to the investigating directorate leading a search and seizure operation at Nosiviwi Mapisa Ngakula's home in Johannesburg on the 19th of March. Officials were looking for cash, they seized receipts from her office as well as a wig. In the following days, the Speaker took special leave from her parliamentary duties and filed court papers to block her arrest. Her lawyers dismissed the raid on her house as unfruitful and argued that the National Prosecuting Authority's case was weak, only based on an informer who in all likelihood gave evidence in return for the fraud charges against her being allowed to be struck from the roll. This, however, did not convince Judge Solit Potterel from the Pretoria High Court. She ruled that Mapisa Ngakula had not given sufficient evidence as to why her arrest was unlawful and that she should surrender to the police. The judge added that issuing an interdict would have set a dangerous precedent. Every suspect will be in a position to approach the courts on an urgent basis, setting out speculation that there is a weak case against it an interdict and arrest. Any suspect would merely have to set out in a founding affidavit that an arrest in the future will be unlawful. The whole criminal system will fail and will be controlled by the suspects. And so last week, Nosivi Wimapi Sangakula became South Africa's first National Assembly speaker to be arrested. On the 4th of April, she appeared at the Pretoria Magistrates Court where she was charged and granted a 50,000 rand bail until the trial resumes on the 4th of June. A second accused will sit in the dock. Their identity has not yet been disclosed, but News24 understands this is someone close to the former speaker. Now, Mapisa Ngakula's arrest sends a positive signal to the public. It tends to show that senior politicians are not untouchable. However, one question commentators have been asking is, why now? Why is Mapisa Ngakula's integrity only being seriously challenged now? That's an important question because it's not the first time the former speaker is being accused of using her position for her own interests or misusing government funds. 
During her time as Minister of Defence, she had already been in the spotlight for allegedly smuggling a Burundian woman into South Africa using an Air Force plane. That was in 2017. In 2020, she had been fined three months' salary from transporting ANC delegates to Harare whilst travelling on official business. The same year, the SANDF was embroiled in controversy for ordering 215 million rands of unregistered COVID-19 drugs from Cuba. More recently, Mapi Sangrakula has been under mounting pressure from the opposition for nearly doubling the parliament secretary's salary from 2.6 to 4.4 million rands in 2023, a matter the Democratic Alliance still thinks should be investigated by the National Assembly. But that doesn't seem to matter. Against all odds, the former speaker's arrest could help the ANC. Opinion pieces in the papers have argued that this proves that corruption is being taken seriously, despite the NPA being accused of failing to hold senior politicians to account. Furthermore, Mapisa Nakula has resigned without the need for a no-confidence vote. She will also not be contesting the upcoming elections. That means the ANC do not have to defend her, something her support in the last week has shown. No active ANC members were by her side in court on the 4th of April. Only her husband and former National Assembly Speaker Bale Kambete. President Sir Ramaphosa himself has kept very quiet about the case, only saying a few words to the press. And the speaker, the former speaker, said that she wants to resign, uh, not so much because she's guilty, uh, she's doing it to respect Parliament, the ANC, and the government as a whole. Yeah. So, we, you know, we should uh, recognize that uh, her level of uh, uh, integrity for our democracy uh, has made her do this. And uh, that should be commended and that should be applauded. And uh, that's what it is. Thank you so much. Opposition parties have not been so kind to Mapisa Ngakula and the ANC, despite most acknowledging that her resigning was the best decision to preserve Parliament, they also agree that this new corruption case tells a lot about the culture at the ANC. The next step of this story is the 4th of June, when Mapisa Ngakula and her co-accused will be back in court. For now, one can only speculate on the outcome of this trial and hope that she will be held accountable if she's guilty. One thing's for sure, this historic resignation and arrest will leave a mark on this lively electoral campaign. All political parties will use it to fit their narrative, if the political noise doesn't cover it up, that is. This takes us to the end of this explainer. You can support Johannesburg Journal by subscribing and by liking, commenting and sharing this video. Until next time, Salagatli!